Welcome back. So as you do this haircut, it's going to be important to have the hair fully wet. So if at any time during the haircut, the hair starts to dry, keep the water bottle close to you and wet it down again. This will help make the haircut even throughout. Where you left off at the last video is where you will start up again. Decide how much you want to cut off. I'm going to be cutting off about two inches. This will be the guide length that I will use throughout the rest of the haircut. Start at the center. Using your fingers as a guide, cut underneath them. Of course, being careful not to cut yourself. Continue that cut through the rest of this section. Follow the shape of the head to keep it round. Stop just behind the right ear and the left ear. Make sure to check the haircut as you go. On either side of the neck, take the outermost strands and pull down. Eyeball the length. If it looks and feels the same in your hands, it's even. So the next part gets a little tricky. You will be adding layers into the haircut so that it gets a little bit of a feathered, wispy look. Take a section at the center of the head and hold it straight off the head in between your fingers. Make sure that you're pulling straight off the head. The section at the bottom is your guide and the longer hair at the top is what needs to be cut. Make that cut and let the hair fall. Cut that guide in half and continue the layers throughout the rest of this section. You will continue that just behind the left and the right ear. Next, you will let hair from the clipped up sections down and if need be, wet the hair again. Don't take down too much hair. This will help you stay in control of that guide and keep you from getting overwhelmed. In the next video, you will continue layering the back. I will see you there.